Hello, everybody. Welcome along. My name is Benjamin Bloom. This is the Benjamin Bloom Football Channel, and this is a very unplanned stream. I thought, well, I can sit down and plan this out and do my research as I always do, or we can just go live and discuss the fact that we have had our first championship manager leave their post after just four games of this season so far. And that man is Gerhard Struber, who has left Barnsley. The smart money was on Savri Lamucci, I think, but it's not. It's Gerhard Struber is the first one to go. If you are here, if you can see me and hear me, um, get your comments in on Struber leaving Barnsley for the New York Red Bulls. Um, it's been rumbling, hasn't it, for a few days, but he has gone today, uh, just a couple of hours ago, in fact. This is the current state of the Barnsley website. Uh, as it says, two hours ago, this article went up. Gerhard Struber leaves Oakwell. The 43-year-old departs after 11 months in charge. Struber has left Barnsley to take the vacant head coach position at MLS outfit, New York Red Bulls. Whilst the club are extremely disappointed to be losing Struber, the New York Red Bulls have met a significant contractual release clause after several European clubs expressed an interest. Je Gerhard's close ties to the Red Bull family made the decision for him in the end. We'll come on to Dane Murphy's quotes in a second. So a couple of things that are interesting straight away. One, they've paid compensation. So Struber, who was highly rated when he joined Barnsley, obviously had something in the deal that said, I will come and work for Barnsley, but if somebody meets this amount, I don't know what it is. We can make it up, pull an amount out of the air. Then I'm entitled to go wherever I want. I don't know what it is. 100 grand, 500 grand, million pounds, 2 million pounds. Let's not speculate. We don't know. I'm sure it will get published and it will get speculated. It will get made up, won't it? The other thing is it does call out what we suspected might be a bit of a pull for Struba, and that is the Red Bull group. So... As I understand, he'd been a coach, and correct me in the chat. I'll, I'll go to the chat in just a sec. Um, he had been a coach at Red Bull Salzburg. I think I'm correct. And then he went from there to manage Wolfsburger. I believe that's correct. He was very well thought of at Red Bull Salzburg and then did well with Wolfsburger in the Austrian Bundesliga, if I'm remembering from doing the... Gerhard Struber signs for Barnsley video only 11 months ago. Um, so we know that the Red Bull group have Red Bull Leipzig, Red Bull Salzburg and New York Red Bulls. So this is very, very much moving around the group to maybe get the top job. I don't know. the top. I guess the top job at the moment is Leipzig, who got to the semi-finals of the Champions League, did they not? So um, you can see a possible route there for Struber. Imagine if Barnsley bought Eddie Howe in now. That would be mental. Don't think we'll see that happening. There we go. Uh, hello, Matthew. Uh, bad for Barnsley. Well, this is the question now, isn't it? Uh, SB2005 says he's fuming. Kelvin says, I thought Barnsley could stay up. But I think they are in trouble now. The chairman last season was making comments about my, my club. He needs to look at how he runs his own. I think Barnsley might struggle. Depends on the new manager. Uh, Jay says, you can't blame him, though. One day waking up in Barnsley and the next year in New York <laughs> is a no-brainer. Well, I mean, there's a couple of points to come back from in those comments. The first one is, will Barnsley now struggle without him? I suspect they will. and I like many people, had them um, in my pre-season predictions doing pretty well, I have to say, because there was evidence. I mean, we'll, we'll, look, at, we'll, we'll look at it on the split screen in a sec, that they had done quite well last season under Struber and improved a fair amount and that that improvement was going to continue. So um, now I don't know. 
Um, obviously, it's impossible for us to say, well, Barnsley, you know, will now drop off because we don't know who they're going to get in as the new manager. They could get somebody equal to or better than Gerhard Struber. There's a small chance that will happen. I think the likelihood, most of us think, they'll probably get someone who is not as good as Gerhard Struber. Step up, Harry Redden. <laughs> Tremendous. New York is only six miles from Barnsley. Is that the New York Stadium in Rotherham? I don't know. Arise, Mick McCarthy. Think Adam Murray will take over. It's a cheap option, says James. Uh, Nigel Clough. Mick McCarthy. <laughs> It's predictable, isn't it? It's always going to be said. Let's just bring up the um, form and the table for this season. I think we all know how it's gone for Barnsley. It's more last season I do want to look at. If I bring the split screen there, you can see Barnsley played four, won none, drawn one and lost three. The uh, drawn game, uh, the only draw there, the only point was against Coventry City. They've lost all the remaining games. I was lucky enough to be at one of those games. And I was quite taken with Gerhard Struber, as I have been when I've seen Barnsley play. They went to Reading. They went for it. They passed the ball. They attacked. They pressed, they did all those lovely things, but they had two men sent off and they lost the game. And I asked Gerhard Struber in the press conference after uh, a question to the effect of, you got 10 men at half time and you kept two up front and you kept attacking. And I was very really taken with his answer because he said, oh, is this what happens in England? I said, in England, we're used to 10 men, four defenders, four midfielders, one up front, defend. And he said, nah, I'm not doing that. I can't do that. He kind of said, that hurts my soul to do that. To do that. I can't just wait for something to happen. I have to go and attack the game. So I was quite uh, impressed with that. Cowleys, well, that would be a change in style, wouldn't it? But they worked in Yorkshire recently at Huddersfield, I suspect. They're going to try and hang out for a championship job, aren't they? The Cowleys. Maybe Nigel Atkins might get a shout for them does seem to do well in the championship. You just have the feeling now that um, the Barnsley hierarchy, are, well, they're, they're hipsters now indeed, aren't they? So um, let's just bring up last year's championship table, which you will all remember only too well. And what I guess uh, Struber is famous for now. Um, let me just make that a bit bigger so we can all see it. You can see Barnsley there. The escape by one point, uh, 49 points. Charlton finishing on 48. Remember, Wigan were deducted the 12. And Struber did do a good job. I know a lot of people will argue skin of the teeth. But if you remember at the start of the season, Daniel Stendel was there. And they were absolutely hopeless for a, a long part of that season, weren't they? Um, if I click previous on there. I wonder if we can actually get a look at it because I remember uh, going along to Barnsley. Um, who did they play? They played Bristol City and uh, they drew 2-2 two -two, and they just hadn't won in forever at that point. Let me just go right the way back through uh, League One club friendly games. So yeah, there is the start of Barnsley's last season. And look, they beat Fulham on the opening day. And then from there on, uh, lose, lose, draw, lose, lose, draw, lose, lose. You can see a pattern emerging here. Lose, draw, lose, draw, draw, lose, draw, lose, lose, lose. I think, has Struber come by this point? I'm trying to remember at what point. I think his first game was against Blackburn down there on 23rd of November. And then... Look at that page. It's literally like the sunshine, uh, the clouds parting, isn't it, by God? Look at that. Win, loss, draw, win, win, draw, draw, loss, win, win. So you can see there was the impact, um, a little bit of a fudge there in January, then three wins on the trot in February. Remember, this is all as the tide was rising towards the end of 
last season, wasn't it? And then we get to those last two games. There was uh, this one here against Forest, where they win in the 93rd minute with Patrick Schmid scoring at the end there. And then, if I can hark back, that big, big day, last game of the season. And yes, it did go into their favour, but it was 2-1, wasn't it? Over at Brentford and Clark Adour in the 91st minute saved Barnsley and they stay up. So he did a really good job last season. Let's um, let's not pretend um, that he did not. Let's just go to your comments and then we'll talk about um, what they've actually got there in terms of players. Um, not sure Mick would fancy it, says uh, Chris. <laughs> Making me suffer seeing blues near the table. Uh, Matthew uh, Strieber gets a lot of credit for keeping them up. Let's be honest, they were two last-minute goals. They still got relegated. Yeah, I mean, that is true. But in context, if you're going to apply that, you also have to apply the fact that they were so bad. And he took over, we think November the 23rd was his first game, and they'd won one in 18 or something. And then when you factor in the fact how high the tide was, to get 49 points from when he took over, when they had one win from something like 18 games. So um, I, I think I think you've got to look at the, rather than the last two minutes of the season, I think you've got to look at the first 18 games or or what, what happened or, you know. So um, yes and yes and no to that comment, Matthew, I think. Uh, Struber did have us playing better football, but as soon as he joined the goals, right? Uh, no to Mick McCarthy or Neil Redfern, uh, club legends, and wouldn't want that to be tainted by our board's lack of ambition. Indeed. Eli, it'll be some other European manager who will use this as a stepping stone and leave another 10 months later. Matthew agrees with that. There is a bit of a sense that they are um, this type of club now, Barnsley, uh, sort of, trendy um, European using that market. They'd honed in on Austria. So it would make a lot of sense for them to continue in that um, manner. Uh, let's have a quick look at the squad because it really does smack of being Struber's squad. Uh, Walton's come in and done really well in goal, hasn't he? Uh, then Williams has been playing uh, wing back, hasn't he? Uh, Diaby has been suspended, obviously. I don't know what's going on there now. But people like Solbauer, Anderson, Haume, uh, Adur, Helic, all decent enough championship players. Uh, Callum Styles is very good, actually. I rate Luke Thomas. He's only 21 and they spent money on him. Moa is very good, isn't he? And then up the top there, Simos, we've not seen much of. But Schmidt, Woodrow's very good. Chaplin is very good. Frieser. Uh, has just arrived. So plenty of um, plenty of good players there, but it does really feel a lot like it is Gerhard Struber's squad. I was a bit bemused um, when uh, I was doing my recent transfer video, which um, has kind of been gazumped <laughs> now because it's going up at seven o'clock. So um, it is uh, sort of out of date. I'm just going to bring up transfer mark on the... Um, other screen because I was wondering what was going on in terms of the transfers with, um, well, we'll bring them up with Ritzmeier and um, Ludovic going out. They felt like very solid um, Struber type players and signings, let's just say. Um, let's look at the business that they've done this season. Um, so I'm going to have to make that bigger, aren't I? So we'll go, we'll go a bit bigger than that. People will moan. Uh, there you go. Frieser, Helic, Christy Davis. Aitchison has gone already out to Stevenage, hasn't he? But Frieser and Helic are first-team players. They've spent a million and a half there. I'm sure Christy Davis will be a project going forward, and we may or may not see him in the first team. Um, they've sold, haven't they? I forgot Jacob Brown there. Two million quid going out to Stoke. Uh, Pineos, yeah, fine. Uh, the Keeper back out to Austria, fine. They had Walton. Ritz Meyer, I found, was an interesting one because I thought he was a good player and I saw him play very recently and I thought he'll be fine in the championship for sure. Uh, McGeehan and Civic went. 
Wilkes went out to Hull, but there'd already been loans and all sorts there, hadn't they? And Killian Ludovic, you can see there, end of loan, 4th of October. Um, so they cut that loan short. And there's a bit of a weird quote from the from the club website saying, oh, his form had been inconsistent. So um, it's going to be very, very interesting. I mean, we've thrown up some names, but I tend to agree with, who was it? Eli said, another European manager will likely come in. Uh, Jay says, wouldn't Wickham and Rotherham potentially be the only teams with a lower wage budget than Barnsley? Perhaps. It's one of those ones where Barnsley have got uh, very wealthy owners, but in terms of their revenues that they actually bring in, it's not massive, is it? Um, I'm trying to think of anyone that, that might be a fair comment, actually. I'm trying to think of anyone who would have a lower wage budget. Let me just bring the table up. That might help us with that. Well, Forest, no. Derby, no. Huddersfield, no. Coventry, possibly similar. Norwich, no. Cardiff, no. Preston, yeah, he makes a good point. So probably in terms of wages, it's a, yeah, you, it's a really reasonable point. Luton as well, maybe. Uh, they will not be paying high wages. But yeah, fair point that Rotherham and Wickham. So that might be why some of the players have gone out. Benjamin, how do you know so much about championship football? This is mental. Many, many hours <laughs> spent doing this. We're trying to do it full time now. So it's kind of my job. With that being said, would it be the wrong time to put a plug up? There we go. We'll stick that up there. But we're reacting on the fly here. Let's go back to a few more comments. Hey, um, QPR forever there. Successive managers, says Chris, who's very knowledgeable, actually, have criticised the owner's transfer policy. And there is a dis disruptive uh, dispute over Oakwell. Yes, I knew about that, Chris, involving the council. Brown, Ritzmeyer, Ludovic gone. So hard job for a new manager to stay up. Yeah. Yeah, I... Uh, I can't remember where I had him. I had him like 12th or 10th or something like that, way above where, I mean, where was it last year? 21st, wouldn't it? One above relegation, though. Uh, Matthew says they probably let better players go than what they've brought in. But they are still, it uh, sounds like, sorry, Matthew, you, you, your comments are excellent, but it sounds like I'm disagreeing. We're just, we're just debating, so please don't um, think I'm picking on your comments because I, I did come, I did push back a bit on the other one. Um, they do still have good players. Here, I, do, I think Sol Bauer, Moa, Chaplin, Woodrow. Who's the young lad? Styles, good championship players. So, I think a good manager will will keep them up. But in terms of what they were doing, it's it's one of those where if you now go to a manager who plays a different style, it would be a disaster because there feels very. Um, very Struberish, doesn't it? Uh, Ludovic has gone on loan to Schalke. Better for him. Ritz Murray's awful. Um, I have to say, Eli, I saw Ritz Murray play at Reading very, very recently, and I thought he was absolutely fine. Um, um, uh, James agrees. Yeah, Ritz Murray's no good. Maybe I saw his one and only uh, decent game. Uh, Tykes TV are not happy. I bet they're not. I bet they're not. This is a very, very highly rated manager. I think, as well, Watford were interested they had a shortlist there and went for Ivic, but I think they would have taken Struber. I don't know, maybe the, maybe whatever the compensation is, um, you know, was was prohibitive to um, to to Watford there. John Wayne's here. Uh, the Ludovic loan being terminated suddenly by a Red Bull club, who immediately sent him back on loan, and the next day Struber leaves for a Red Bull club. This is the issue that we have now. Um, with these group ownerships and um, tune in at seven when the transfer update video premieres, because I'm going to talk about Watford and Udinese, obviously now Barnsley and Red Bull and all of those, obviously Barnsley nothing to do with Red Bull, but you know what I'm saying, um, that link and Struber being taken out and Forrest and Olympiakos. So yeah. Uh, hey up, says Blue Wolf. Let's just have a quick look. We'll have a look at the last team Barnsley fielded. We'll have a look at some of their next fixtures. I always argue that international uh, break number two is when managers go out. But this had been rumbling a fair old while, hadn't it? Um, there you go. Barnsley play Bristol City next. Top of the league, Bristol City. Then they go away to Stoke. So that is not particularly friendly uh, fixtures coming up. Uh, Millwall away. QPR, uh, Watford, Cardiff away. 
just doesn't look easy coming up for a new manager coming in there. Okay, Forrester down the bottom there. Derby have just won their first game. But then Brentford, look. Ugh. Um, some tricky, tricky, tricky ones um, there coming up. Let's just have a quick look at the last team they fielded. I will bring up the defeat at Middlesbrough. Probably some sense that, um, you know, things were not quite right there. It does feel that way for the last few weeks. But look at it. Look. OK, Collins in goal. Um, maybe you'd have Walton ahead there. Sol Bauer, Helic, Anderson. That's that's fine. Williams, Styles. OK, I'd have Styles in midfield, uh, central midfield. But uh, Ritzmeyer, who the chat doesn't seem to like. And Moet's very good. Thomas is going to be good. I think he's only 21. Freeser and Woodrow. Nothing wrong with that team whatsoever, is there? You know, you can think of plenty of worse players to uh, to take over. So, yeah. Uh, let's have a look here. Uh, Eli says, we need a manager who can change his style to suit. I totally agree with that. If it's not going to be somebody who's already known to the Barnsley hierarchy and who's, you know, they kind of had in mind in a group of managers who they'd want to hire, it needs to be somebody who comes in and says, right, these are the players I've got. They're very, very used to tapping the ball around short, attacking, um, pressing high, pressing triggers, um, all the things that Struber always mentioned, uh, playing out from the back, recycling the ball, rotation of position, all of these things that the European bosses, um, well, and Bielsa, but people like Farker, and I suppose Wilder is not European, but all the things, the tactics that we've seen change in the Premier League, there's more people going up with, Scott Parker passing the ball around type <laughs> criminally slowly going up rather than uh, Neil Warnock or I don't know Chris Hewton or Mick McCarthy style getting promoted. Now, so I agree with Eli there. Uh, Blue Wolf, can't believe it. Uh, I think a couple of things could help Barnsley this season. Sheffield Wednesday playing catch up. Well, I mean, that helps everybody, but you, you think Wednesday need to hit 60 points, uh, pure 60 points, minus the 12 off 48. You could still go down with 48. Look at last season, but. I doubt it'll be that high this season. Good point. And yeah, Wickham have started so badly. Forest have started so badly. It gives you someone to aim at, doesn't it? So uh, Matthew says, couldn't agree more, Benjamin. They have a good squad, more than capable of staying up. But when you look at their outgoings, Wilkes, they could have done with keeping them. Yeah, yeah, fair point. And I think we had another comment uh, saying um, to the effect of, well, maybe this is financial, why these players go out and they want to start turning over transfers like a Brentford or a, a Bristol City or a Preston have done over the past few years. Phil says, uh, shows the board are only in it for a quick buck. How can they show, how can they have any ambition if they have buyout clauses for their head coach? Yeah, I mean, I suppose it shows ambition to take a really high rated head coach, even with the clause. And we don't know how much the clause was. Hey, imagine it was four million quid or something. I doubt it. But um, yeah, so reasonable, reasonable argument. But it, you can argue it both ways, Phil, can't you, that they showed ambition taking him in the first place. So um, interesting, very, very interesting at Barnsley. First manager of the season to leave the championship is Gerhard Struber. Uh, we've had a nice little sort of debrief in the chat here. Thank you, everybody, uh, for joining. Um, Eli says, did you hear what Struber said? Basically, the club have no ambition. That's why he's left. Wow. Um, I can't read that out, Blue Wolf. Um, Nick thinks it's €2 million. Euros. OK. Um, he leaves Chaplin on the bench at Borough, says JL. Unused sub, but brings on Adebio Joe, who I think scored twice in League Two. Uh, subs were baffling. Yeah, there was a sense that it seemed to have gone a bit south the past few weeks, didn't it? So uh, still no decision on... Yeah, so Bambo Diaby, um, who was a bit of a cult hero. Very, uh, The fans seemed very fond of him when I was there. Last, God, it would have been winter, wouldn't it? Uh, the 2-2 draw of Bristol City. So, um, yeah, we don't know what's going on there with any alleged um, failures of EFL protocols. Uh, release clause is 2 million, we're hearing. Uh, Mike says, I wonder if they could tempt Lee Johnson back. I mean, it's not the, not the worst shout in the world, that Mike, um, is it? He's been there before. The football would be reasonably similar, wouldn't it? You would think. Uh, good job Barnsley ain't playing Rotherham's New York Stadium. <laughs> and a few people are saying 2 million euros um, 
which would seem to be about right. Thank you, Matthew. Says great stream. So look, we've had a little debrief. My view for what it's worth, and this is where I'll go into opinion. You're entitled to disagree. I'm not giving any facts to, to back this up. I like Struber. I thought Struber and Barnsley was, was a good fit. I felt that he was capable of elevating them a little bit further up to the table and, and growing the club. I do agree with the comments that say maybe, maybe he was using them, um, that he wanted to get to England and he wanted to maybe get a high-end championship job, then get a Premier League job. Maybe this offer has come in and he thinks that the Red Bull group is a better way to go. And that would chime in with the people who are saying a lack of ambition, et cetera, that maybe he feels he can't get a top-end championship job. Although Watford were interested, weren't they? And he would have that would have been right up his street, wouldn't it? Um, parachute money and all those great players Watford have got. So I liked him. I think Barnsley will be worse off and I think they will struggle to get a manager as good but obviously the caveat to that is I don't have a crystal ball we don't know who the new manager is going to be and my record with unknown quantities has been shocking this season Jason Tindall's doing really well Velko Paunovic is doing really well Ivic is doing you know kind of fine and Dean Holden's doing really well so there's plenty of unknown quantities that have done really really well in the championship this season I know there's only been four games but um so I would be a little bit worried if I was a Barnsley fan. A, because I think it'd be difficult to get someone as good. And B, because what Barnsley fans are telling me in the feed is that they had an ambitious, talented, highly rated manager who seems to have wanted to get out pretty quickly for a lot of the reasons we've been um, suggesting. Uh, YouTube collabs. Uh, yeah, we'll look at some, um, Matthew. Nothing. Uh, we'll, we'll look at the next couple of days. Uh, Lee Johnson would keep them up. Uh, Struber sounds like a dessert that you have with custard. Sound like rhubarb. <laughs> uh, Barnsley could go on a similar path to Blackpool. I'm not so, not so sure about that. I think they've got so many good players. The danger is, though, and we've seen it. Well, we've seen this at my club Ipswich, where you take a club that was managed by a boss, i.e., Mick McCarthy, who does things one way. You replace them with someone like Paul Hurst, who's less experienced, maybe not as good, does things a different way changes all the players really quickly, um, tries to get the players who are doing things one way, a totally different way. They can't do it. Disaster. Absolute disaster. And two years later, you're still trying to recover from it. So what they don't want to do is get a manager. If they get a manager who wants to do things totally differently and can't work those players, they will be relegated. That's, you know, that's what, that's the doomsday scenario. So they need to, they need to, um, you know, they need to figure this out uh, quite quickly, don't they? Uh, Daz, evening, Ben. I was not happy on Sunday with the Villa result. I bet you weren't. 7-2, hey. Uh, evening to Lee. Uh, busy past few days. How come the keyboard? I've got my keyboard back now. Uh, it was being fixed by Korg. So um, we've got it. Uh, changed the room around a little bit because it's the only place we can really uh, keep it here. Evening, Hip. Um, Paul Cook? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, good manager. Is he going to do... Is he going to do exactly the same as Struben? No, but highly rated championship manager for sure. Um, and Wigan played good football, didn't they? Maybe that's, maybe that's the right mix. Um, some of Struber's technical players and a bit of Paul Cook, um, how shall I say, uh, championship English football style mentality. Um, selling themselves short going to the MLS. Yeah, it's not the MLS he's gone for though, Hip, isn't it? So um, it's, it's the Red Bull group he's going to. That's the... Uh, Paul Cook at Forest would be a good fit. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that, actually. Uh, Eli has DM'd me Struber's quotes from the weekend. Uh, shall we quickly read them? Because Eli's very knowledgeable when it comes to Barnsley. And then we will um, we will get off. Let's just bring these quotes up. Um, uh, Gerhard Struber said, after Barnsley defeated Middlesbrough, what the team need, what the club need is more quality. Every year, every season, this is a big fight that you stay in the league. It's a big question for the owners. This is the goal for me not. I have other ambitions, aims, and cannot feel that the owners have the same ambition and goals like me. Was it my last game in charge? My future is open. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, um, he was definitely done uh, at the weekend, wasn't he? So, and yeah, um, it seems like he's uh, turned tail. And we don't know what he was promised. What, was he promised millions of millions of pounds to sign people and the best championship players. I doubt he was promised that, but um, 
hey, if he wasn't promised that, then he's got the release clause and he's used the release clause if he's not happy. So, you know, everyone can't have their cake and eat it. Uh, Barnsley can't have a, a ambitious, highly rated manager not give him essentially what he wants and then expect him to stay. And Struber, well, if he comes and, you know, he thinks that it's working more in Barnsley's favour for him to be there than uh, vice versa, um, then, you know, so be it. Right. Let's, um, uh, yes, uh, transfer video at seven. Um, yes, I'll do England. Um, living in the States or Barnsley, there you go. Uh, let fans in, absolutely. And most importantly, Shaley says from downstairs, it's dinner. So I'm going to bid you all a farewell. If you're watching after the fact, get your comments in. Gerhard Hardstruber leaves Barnsley for um, New York Red Bulls. Thank you very, very much for watching. And we have our first manager leaving of the season. Uh, impromptu stream, thanks for joining. And I will see you um, 7 p.m. Premiering is the latest transfer update. Thank you for watching. Over and out. <laughs>